Hello everybody. Hey, I want you to take 10 minutes and grab yourself a cup of coffee here and watch this video. Hopefully you can find something entertaining, informational, and maybe enlightening. Well, as the title said, we're going to talk Jeeps, but once again, we're not talking that Jeep. We're talking this Jeep Compass right here. Let me get a little light on there. We got we got all the cameras set up. We got the one sitting here doing that. We're going to go do some paperwork over there, and I'm going to show you a tool we're going to use. But right now, we're going to uh, show you that uh, what, what we're talking about is, you know, checking the transmission fluid in this thing. And uh, this is a 2007 Jeep Compass with one of those uh, CVT transmissions, uh, I think it is. Uh, you know, the ones that don't have a dipstick. Well, we're going to show you how to get around that. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's start right here. I'm going to show you where you got to go to get it. Then we're going to go show you what you need, the tool you need. Then we'll go show you the paperwork. So let's get into this right here. Whoop, get my fingers out of the way. Right there. Right now, we're going to start right here. Okay? All right, can you see this okay? All right. Well, we got to take this off. It says, remove for battery access, access, and some other things. Just twist those. That slides right off like that. You can just toss that up. No, you don't want to leave that on there. No. Have you guys ever put away a tool and can't ever find it again? Well, that's what I've done somewhere. I don't know how, but last time I worked on this, I had a trouble light. Don't know where it went. Anyway, okay. Can you see this little thing down here? Let me zoom in on that a little bit better for you. All right. Now we're zoomed in, you can see it better. This thing right here uh, is uh, where your dipstick would go if you had a dipstick. Let me get a picture of it, throw it on here right now so you get a good idea of what it looks like. Now, I'm also going to tell you right now, I ain't no mechanic. Uh, I just seen, uh, was told this is how you do it. Okay, we're going to take that out. Okay, come on. There we go. You got to twist it out, just like a bolt. All right. Ta-da! No dipstick. None. See? No dipstick. Now then, uh, from what I've been told, is the reason there's no dipstick on here is because they don't want you doing that. No, no, no. Take it to back to your uh, place you bought, you know, their uh, dealership. Take it there. They'll they'll do that for you. They'll change the oil in it. And that's how they check it. They just drain the oil out, put new oil in. <laughs> you can guess. You can guess it ain't going to be cheap. But we're going to show you a different way to do it. And like I said, do it at your own risk. I'm just doing it because I was told you could do it this way. So I'm telling you, I think you can do it this way. So let's get on to that right now. Let's move cameras. Well, we moved over here. Here's the tool you're going to need. I'm going to put a link on that for, uh, let me hang this up here. Because I'm doing it with one hand. Let's just hang that right there. Hold on there, guy. Hold on. Uh. I'll give you a link to where to order this thing. It comes in this plastic sheath. And you're going to want to save that because that's you're going to want to put it back in there. It's going to probably have a little oil residue. But there it is. That thing is, let's see how long that is. Now that we got it off of there, we'll put it back on. Let's see how long it is. All right. Let's put it right there. And it is... That's three feet right there. So I'm guessing that thing's a little over four feet. Let's see, there's three feet plus. Uh, let's see, plus, let's go this way. Three feet plus. 
uh, 16 inches. Three feet plus 16 inches. What's that? Right here it tells you. Okay, that's the tool you're going to need to dipstick it. Now then, we're going to go over here and we're going to read these to you. All righty. Uh, can you see all that? Let's see if you can. Uh, this is, uh, you get, some of the kits come with this. If they don't, uh, if you buy a different kit that don't have these with them, you can go online and just, and just uh, download them and then print them out. Okay, what we got to do is you got to look up what our car is. Well, we know it's a compass. We know it's a Jeep. So let's look for a compass. Compass, compass, compass. Right there's a compass. Now then, there's the transmission we're telling you about. Right there, it's the uh, CVT. That's the rubber band transmission. If it sounds like it's winding up like a rubber band, then takes off. Well, it's B on this chart, B. Okay, so we can know it's a B. We're gonna look for the B. We got, uh, as you can see, we got, hang on, I can't see. We got A, it ain't that one, it's this one. So let's get this right here, you can see that. All right, so we got a, we know that uh, low is going to be down here on this line, and the high is up there, maximum fill rate. What you got to know is the temperature of your oil. So, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to take the ambient temperature. Hang on, I'll go look at that right now. Okay, you've seen that picture. The temperature in here is 74, right about there, okay? So, when we stick that dipstick in it, if we stuck it in right now, you would want to be between here. Now you can probably see them better. Okay, so it's 74, you go up here, it's got to be between there. Looks like, oh, 25, and, uh, maybe 33 but we're going to run the transmission through the gears going to so start it up real quickly and run it through the gears okay we don't need none of these charts just this one here that's us so i'm going to go do that now we're going to start that up run it through the gears okay let's fire it up started fast now we're going to run it through the gears fast because we don't want the transmission there's there is uh, low, drive, neutral, reverse, and park. Now I'm gonna run out here and leave it in park and we're going to check the fluid. Okay, he's running. I'm gonna stuff this down to it. The bottom's out because it's way too long. We know that. That looks like that's it. Far as that's going. So now I'm gonna pull it out and see what she reads. Can you see that? She reads. Thirty. She reads thirty. Alright, I'm gonna show you this little trick here. Again, I've showed you before. But you see that? That's on 30. All right, let me show you this. Get a nice clean napkin here, or rag. Now then, if you can't see it, oh, <laughs> I can't show you because I held it wrong. Let's, let's just take that down to where it was. <laughs> see, if you can't see it, when I held this upside down, the oil ran. If you can't see it, it was about 35. Okay, you take your napkin here and you push that. Let's see if I got it off the backside too. Okay, you push that right there on something white. Lift it up and you can see where it was. Okay, that's how that works. Now, we're going to be done with that tool. We're going to stick it back in. But that's how you check that. That's about 35 and I guess that transmission is up to at least 80 by now because it don't take long for it to heat up. So let's look at the chart again, and let's see where we want to be 
with our transmission, which is B, 80 degrees, we should be 35 tops. Anywhere, well, let's see. Let's say 80, we're at 35. Right there, we're 35 right there. So if it's 80, it'd be fine. If it's 90, it'd be fine. Matter of fact, it's gonna be fine even if it was all the way over here and scalding hot, it would still be fine. If we did even put any oil in it, then when it was down uh, here, because we're right there, we're right at maximum. If we put any oil in it, it would be, when it got like 70 degrees or too cold outside, it would be over full. So we don't want to add any oil because we're safe. We're in the safe zone. So no oil added on this one. Now, I bought some oil just in case we did need to add some, but I'm not going to put any in uh, because I think we're right there where we should be. Uh, you want to get this oil right here, make sure it's for that and uh, for your CVT transmission, your rubber band transmission. I got STP. The main reason I got the STP was because it was the cheapest. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put it back together. We're gonna call that done. Well, since we're not putting any oil in it, we can put her back together. We can also check around here and make sure everything's okay. Anytime you get into something, check it out. I've already checked the air filter, it's fine. Uh, we don't drive this much. We're going to start driving it more now that the price of fuel is uh, so damn high. We can't even afford to drive the diesel anymore. I don't think we're going to... Uh... This slides in. Let me show you that. because I had difficulty right there. I want to show you this. You see this thing right here? Oh, let me turn your head around so I can see what you're looking at. You see that? This part right here goes into that part and it comes out of that part. So you want to put it back in. That's part of your air breathing system. Then you just clip, clip. Righty tighty, that's back done. Oh, forgot to put this in, but I can do that without that on. I just took it off just to show you guys, give you a clearer shot. I'm gonna put this cap back in. Righty tighty on it. There we go, she's back in. She's done. Now, uh, Oh, well, we got that done. I don't know how I'm going to put all them film together, but uh, anyway. Now, i got to explain something to you. Probably the, the longer you let that run, the warmer the oil is going to get, the higher it's going to get. As you've seen on the chart there, uh, we're okay. And so the oil is going to get hotter, and it's only going to get go up. It ain't going to get colder and go down. So as it gets hotter, it may expand. That gives you more oil in there. But I think we're I think we're perfect. Uh, reason we wanted to check this is that it it uh, that's why I got cardboard under it. It's leaking oil. I thought it was transmission oil. Apparently it's not. And I check the motor oil all the time, and I change it all the time. And I'm not using enough in between oil changes to make a difference. And I'll tell you what, we don't change oil in that for probably every two years because we don't drive it. It's only got like 80,000 miles on it. It's a 2007. So, that's it. Uh, you guys subscribe to the channel, please. And uh, if you got a, got a couple, uh, three bucks, you can join the old uh, Patreon site. It's only three bucks a month, five bucks if you wanted to get that tier. Whatever you want to throw in there, three to five. You can pay me a hundred dollars if you want, but you do, <laughs> it ain't worth it. But Check out that Patreon channel. It's going to have a lot of stuff on there that ain't going to be nowhere else. So you guys, hope you had your 10 minutes worth of videos today and a cup of coffee. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks. It's cold. Sally used to carry my books to school. Sally was a good old girl Helped me with my homework cause I was a fool Sally was a good old girl If he wanted just to kiss our little bitty sweet She was always...